In this video, we will introduce Java.NIO channels within the Java programming language. In a stream-oriented I.O. system, an input stream produces one byte of data and an output stream consumes one byte of data. Such a system is often rather slow. By contrast, in a block-oriented I.O. system, the input-output stream produces or consumes a block of data in one step. Channels are analogous to streams, but with a few differences. While streams are typically one-way, read or write, Channels support read and write. Channels can be read and written asynchronously. Channels have to read and write from a buffer. All data that is sent to a channel must first be placed in a buffer. Any data that is read from a channel is read into a buffer. For our example, we will use the new Seekable Byte channel, which is an interface that provides support for RAF by implementing the notion of position over channels. We can read or write a byte buffer from or to a channel, get or set the current position, and truncate an entity connected to a channel to a specified dimension. Let's take a look at our code. First we have here a path. A path is a programmatic representation of a path in the file system. The path string contains the file name, the directory list, and the OS dependent file delimiter. Once you identify the file system and the location of a file or directory, you can create a path object for it. Over here, we're going to get an instance of seekable byte channel, which can be accomplished through two methods of the files class named new byte channel. The first or simplest new byte channel method receives the path to the file to open or create and set options specifying how the file is going to be open. The standard open option enum constants have options such as read, write, create, create new, append, delete on close, truncate, sparse, sync, or desync. We're going to be passing in the option to read it. In this line here we have a buffer of 12 bytes. Here we obtain the system's file encoding and then we clear the buffer which makes a buffer ready for a new sequence of channel read or related put operations. With our while loop, we read a sequence of bytes from this channel into the given buffer. Our flip method makes a buffer ready for a new sequence of channel write or related get operations. It sets the limit to the current position and then sets the position to zero. Now to show our file contents, we get a car set object for the named car set. Then we use the decode convenience method that decodes bytes in this car set into Unicode characters. Again we clear the buffer. Writing a file with seekable channel involves using the write option. In addition, if we want to clean up the existing content before writing, we can add the truncate existing option, as we see here. Here we truncate the file we just read and prepare for writing. Of course our file must exist. Here we wrap the method or use the method wraps which is a byte array into a buffer. Here we write a sequence of bytes to this channel from the given buffer. And finally we output to the council the number of bytes that we wrote. Let's run our program and see the output. We can see here that we wrote 12 bytes and that initially we read this entire string into the buffer. This concludes our discussion of Java NIO channels.